and welcome back to Stacey O Designs. If you are new here, go ahead and go hit that subscribe button so you're always kept updated on new sublimation and crafting videos that I do. Today, we are talking again about the DTF hack. So, I got this. This is by a company called Casio. K A S Y U. And it is an all in one, no headache, ready to go, everything you need to try this DTF hack. So it comes with it comes with the powder and the and the film and the parchment paper and the tweet. It it comes with everything you need for it. So one box ready to go, trying this hack. And I will link this down in the description. So let's unbox this. I haven't even unboxed this yet. So let's unbox this and see all the cool stuff in it and we'll do a test. Okay, so this is the box that you get. Lovely. On the inside, before I, un before I open it all, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. You don't have to Google anything. You don't have to go to their website. Step-by-step -step instructions how to do this which I love. Okay, so this looks like uh, A4 size paper. These are the, the film sheets. Parchment paper, which it's not really parchment. Um, Teflon maybe? I don't know, they're calling it parchment. It has like a little bit of a coating on it. I'm not sure, we'll see how it works. Their powder, their DTF powder. A nice pair of tweezers, which we could always use. And what I also noticed on the inside flap here, if you have any problems, they give you directly how to contact them, which is really nice of them. So I am excited to try this whole thing. And it says it comes with stickers. So there wasn't a separate package for stickers. I will have to, when I open it, I'll figure out, maybe it's in, maybe it's in this package. So I just wanted to show you here that when you pull out the film, it specifically says there is a matte printing side. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's definitely, it's like a, not exactly matte, but it's, there's like a powder on it almost to keep the pages from sticking, I suppose. And the other side is clearly the glossy side. So you shouldn't have any trouble to figure out um, which side to print on. Also, I found the stickers. So these are just strips. These are just strips of sticky tape and I am, I looked on their directions and I looked on their website and I didn't see any reference to this. So I'm thinking that this is maybe something that you put on the edge of your, of your film so that it properly goes through your printer. So, okay, I'm going to print something off right now. Okay, so here is my image that I'm going to print. Um, I'm, I am printing out of Photoshop. So I'm gonna hit file, print, and you see how my printer dialog box has come up. Select my printer, I'm using an Epson 7720. Oh, let's get that in focus. Print settings. So I'm gonna start off with something that I just use all the time. Is this in frame? Okay. So I'm gonna change the document size to A4, which is 8.2 by 11.7. Portrait, I'm changing the paper type. Um, I didn't do this on my last DTF video, but the more that things are coming out and I'm learning about it, I'm putting it, I'm putting it to high quality plain paper quality I'm keeping as high, obviously color. If I go into more options, um, I'm going into advanced 
and I've been pulling the saturation down to 11. So if you click on advanced and click on color controls, you can change the color mode to Adobe RGB, the gamma to 2.2, and then here I have brightness at nine, contrast at seven, saturation at 11, and density at four. Um, these do, I've noticed when I've done other DTFs, this is the first time I'm using this brand, but they do print a little bit darker than I plan. So let's see. And I'm gonna take off high speed and you mirror your image because it's still like sublimation where you flip it over onto your shirt. So here we go, I'm gonna hit okay. And there's the image that's gonna be printed. I'm gonna put this on the back and then a little pocket logo on the front and print. So while it is printing, I'm going to set up my powder. So you want to do this right away because the ink will dry. And there you go, there's my print. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit of their powder on here. and you spread it all around. And this stuff is a powder, so you want to make sure, I have a window open right now, uh, luckily I'm in Florida and it's beautiful out, but you definitely wanna have a window open with this. There you go. So this is the powder on it. This is the other side. So we're gonna put it powder side down, but first we're going to cure it. So get as much powder off as you can, and now to cure. Okay, so now I'm over at my heat press and you can clearly see that there is a thin layer of powder over the entire image, which is perfect. And this is the other side. So you're going to lay it on your heat press, powder side up. Sorry, powder side up. And in my previous DTF experience, I've always had, I, I usually keep a Teflon sheet on my press, on my top platens. Um, and I noticed that I'd never got great melting. So I took that off today. So this company suggests melting. So you put your top platen over, but you do not close it. Very important. You're not pressing this. You're just warming it. They're saying 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. So that is what I'm going to do. So I gave a little look-see at their YouTube video on how to use their products. And as well as using a heat press to cure your powder, they also give instructions if you have a drying oven. Um, you cure it at 320 for 60 seconds and you do the powder process and melting process twice. If you have an easy press, which I know a lot of people do, you place your film powder side up on your easy press. So it's facing towards you and you heat it from behind at 311 for 120 seconds. Um, if you have none of these things, they also give you an option to use it with a heat gun you use the low setting on your heat gun and never stay in one spot. Keep moving it for eight minutes. And all of these processes, at the end of it, you want to see it turn from a powder into a gel. Um, so you won't see any particles left like this. So I can see that all the powder is gone and... 
it's definitely turned into a bit of a gel. So this is actually the best um, melting I've ever had. I That's going to look good. I've always done it for like just a couple of minutes. So maybe I never did it long enough. So I'm really excited for this. So now I'm going to press this on my shirt. And they suggest when using a heat press, we're going to do it at 320 for 90 seconds to adhere it. So let me just prep my shirt. So here I'm using a Bella canvas. And right here you could see 100% cotton, 100% cotton shirt I'm gonna use this on. So here I'm just pre-pressing it, just like you would any normal project you're gonna do. So I had to place it on my shirt off camera so that I can measure properly. But I cut around the edges to make sure in case there was any stray ink. So I cut that off. I did touch it right here. So I smeared it a little bit, but I hope it'll be okay. I'm gonna use their parchment paper, and put it over, and I'm going to press for 320 for 90 seconds. All right, it has been 90 seconds. And that's what it looks like. So this is, this is a cold peel. So I'm gonna let it completely cool and then peel it off and do the pocket logo. Okay, so I have this, I or just pressed the front and I still have the back with the film on it. It's completely cool, completely. There you go. Not bad, huh? So it feels super plasticky right now. So we're gonna do a second press at 320 for 15 seconds, but I'm gonna flip it over and remove the back one. Very easy to remove. Oh, I didn't get enough powder there, I think is what happened. Or maybe it was the seam. Maybe I should have had something underneath because it is right on the neckline. So that was my bad. Maybe I will try and repress this, but the color looks great. I'm very happy with this. So I'm going to just try and repress this little spot at the top here and then I'll show you. Okay. So I just laid the transfer back over and I used a piece of this green foam in between. And this was completely user error. This had nothing to do with the product. I pressed it over the neckline. So now it's completely cool again. I peel it off. So everything came off of the film, but because I did that earlier, I got a little error here, but it's okay. So that was on me. So now to seal this in because right now it has kind of a very DTF plasticky sort of feel to it. I still have the foam in, in between the shirt and I'm going to press it at 320 for 15 seconds. Okay. And now this, oops, this is the final product. Oh, it's very hot. Looks great. 
beautiful, beautiful. So on the other side, I have, so I noticed I did the same thing on this side and a little piece of his wing wasn't on. So I repressed that as well. So I'm just gonna peel that off. And repress this. And just for 15 seconds. So here is the final product. And I think it's so cute. It's just so cute. And this is the back. And it came out pretty beautiful. It's pretty beautiful. And this is the company, DTF Printing Kit from Casio. Um, different instructions than I've used in the past. So that was really interesting. And I think this gave me really great results. I didn't have to fight with the film to peel it off. Um, it printed beautifully. I didn't need, I didn't need to tape any paper or use their sticker strips right through my printer. I have an Epson 7720. Yeah, I'm going to give this one like a double thumb up. I really like this brand a lot. Um, and personally, in the past, I feel that I didn't get the best I could out of some of my DTF prints because I didn't melt the adhesive as much as I should have. Um, and this is just a learning thing. I've never done the DTF process before. And I, what I thought was melted wasn't melted until I saw how this melted. So I definitely wasn't doing it long enough. Um, so there you go. There you go. I hope you guys try this. It is well worth it. It is well worth it. And the link is down below. And I did notice on their Amazon store, they are having a sale on it. So go get yours and make sure you subscribe, like this video, leave a comment and let me know how you did with it. All right. Have a wonderful day and go enjoy the new DTF hack.